Okay, what we're going to do is a simple cross tab report. Have a look at a cross tab. So we create a blank report. Uh, we'll just name it cross tab demo. And then we'll get to work on the base report. Okay, here's the report. A little bit of housekeeping. Don't need the title. We'll drop that out of the way. And uh, I'm going to get a data query. Um, we've got some product data pull in use for this. So uh, just open up the query, paste in the query. That gives us the product data. We can work with that. Check there's the fields available to us now. So what we'll do is drag a few of the fields across so that we've got something to work with. Um, just making a fairly simple, fairly crude main body to the report. And that gives us something to work with to demonstrate the cross tab. So I'll just drop these fields in here. We'll take the stock code, product description, the category description and the location code. And then we'll just do a little bit of alignment, a little, little bit of tidying up. It doesn't really matter. It's not going to be used. If we were going to use this part of the report, then we'd put a little bit more effort into tidying it up, getting the product descriptions sorry, getting the column descriptions into something meaningful to the report users. But for our purposes, just something quick and relatively dirty. Just line these last couple up and then we'll put uh, put a couple of lines in and page number just so that we can see where we are with things. Let's drag that out a bit. Drag that out. They line up. We'll pop a line in there. that up and across, stretch it out to the full width. And there we go. Close the gaps up. Pop a page number in. Whoops, not in, the, not in the summary, in the footer. Just make it a little bit wider, deal with big reports. The defaults tend to be too narrow for the font size, so just make them a little bit wider. Slide it across into place. And we'll copy that line down. So copy it and select the footer. And then paste in place. Just move it. Whoops. Back up a tad. Select. Right. Got it this time. Slide it across and into place. and just close up the gaps. We'll have a quick look at that, see how it looks. Perfect. 18 pages. A lot of 
data, I think. What we'll do is filter that. We'll put a filter in and we'll filter down on category. Let's get rid of that band. So, off to the data source. Um, they will deal with a specific category. So we'll add a parameter, call it report category, or RPT category. It's a text field and we'll give it a default value of G, which is the grandparent guilt. Um, oops, that actually needs to be in quotes because it's a text field. So there we go. Grandparent guilt. Now we can drag the report parameter across into the query to test for the equality at runtime. So we can see the report parameters in there and it's used as a prompt. The box is checked. So we'll preview that. It's prompting with a G. And this time we've got three pages. So filtering out, and we've just got grandparent guilt in there. Good. Now what we want to do is bring in the cross tab. Now this goes into the summary process. We'll use the main data set and we'll select the category and subcategory as the rows on the report. We'll select on the subcategory description. And in the column, we'll have the location of the product. So product location description, there we go. And as a measure, we'll use the we'll use a count of the stock cone. That's all okay. In it goes. And Let's have a quick preview, see what it looks like, see what other work we need to do on it. Well, there's the main report. This time it's four pages. Oh, it looks all right. Well, no, it's actually split across. And it's a bit untidy here because it's just dropping in straight at the end of the main body of the report. So we'll, we'll tidy that up a bit and then we'll start working on the actual crosstab grid itself check the report and what we're going to do is make sure that the summary prints on a new page. So just check that box there. Check that that works. There's the main data. Still four pages, but this time the crosstab grid is on a page on its own. So now we can tidy that up a little bit. So let's get to work on that. The um, description of the category is just bringing in the G for the category code rather than the description which would mean something to a user. So we can see in here category, we'll change that to the category description And we'll use the category description data field as our source. So we have a quick look at that now. Down to the end of the report, and we can see we've got the description of the category rather than just the category code. Still splits across two rows, so we've got a bit of tidying up to do there. We'll have a look at the cross tab. First thing we can do is we'll make all the text a little bit smaller. 
it might not give us something to play with. And we'll make this column column a little bit taller so that we can rotate the description. Oops. Before we do that, we better make some space to uh, to receive it. So we'll drop the columns below down a little bit, and then we can make the height of that column and the adjacent description a little bit narrower by rotating the text. So make them taller, make the adjacent one taller, and then we'll rotate the text in here so that the location description comes in 90 degrees. Just drop that down to the left, rotate it left. And then we'll make that column a little bit narrower. So what we'll do is uh, make the data fields narrower first of all, and then we'll reduce the column width. So just drop all those down to 30, and then we'll reduce the column width. So bring that in a bit. Whoops, not too much. But just enough. Right. We'll have a look at that now. Oh, just the totals on the other page. Right. Just a little bit of work on that. So what we'll do is reduce the width of the fields, first of all. And then we'll bring the column width in to match. And hopefully those few pixels will make everything look perfect for us. Brilliant. That's it.